So this cascade and cascode connection, basically, uh, it's a part of multi-stage amplifier. Okay. So what I can do, I can write this subheading as multi-stage amplifier. Okay, multi-stage amplifier. In multi-stage amplifier, there are two basic connections. Okay, cascade connection and cascode connection. Okay. Um, connection wise, okay, definition wise, these are the same only. Okay, so cascade or cascode will have more than one amplifier circle. Okay, so if more than one amplifier circuit is used, then it is called as multi stage amplifier. Okay. Now, in cascode connection, okay, normally this cascode connection is limited to two stage. Okay, it is limited to two stage. Cascode is limited to two stage, whereas cascade can have more than two. Okay, you can have more than two. Now, in cascode connection, um, normally in first stage, common emitter configuration is used and in the second stage common base configuration is used okay so that is the typical uh, what you say arrangement of cascode connection in the first stage you will find c configuration and in the second stage you will find cb configuration okay on the other hand in cascade in cascade you may have you know, common emitter, multi stages, okay, or a combination of common emitter and common collector, okay, multi stages, so and so forth, okay, fine. So that's about the broad understanding of cascade and cascode connection, okay. So, first, let us uh, try to understand. Um, a cascaded system okay as i said in the beginning um, when more than one transistor circuit is used it is called as a multi-stage amplifier okay so first let us try to understand cascade connection cad okay so sometimes this cascade connection is also called as feed forward connection okay feed forward connection uh, that means to say output of one stage is fed as input to the second stage and so on and so forth. Okay. All right. So let's say I have a single stage here. Okay. And let's say we also have a second stage here. And let's say we have a third stage somewhere here. Okay. Let us say a three stage system we have considered. Okay. Okay. Now let us connect these uh, amplifiers. Okay. So in cascade connection, what we will do is output of first stage is given as input to the second stage. Okay, similarly, okay, this is our first stage, this is second stage, and this is your third stage. And output of second stage is given as input to the third stage. Okay, and the final output is taken from the third stage. Okay, let's say you have some RL connected across the third stage, and across RL, let us say output V0 is observed. Okay. And to the first stage, we are going to feed the input. Okay. So this is a multi-stage amplifier. Now, the multi-stage amplifiers will have, say, gains AV1, AV2, and AV3. Okay. So this multi-stage amplifier 
uh, will have gains AV1, AV2, and AV3 respectively. Okay, and uh, we, 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 let us also mark uh, the different input and output uh, impedances. All right. So let's say for the stage one. Okay, as I have mentioned here, stage one. Let us say this is our input impedance. Okay. Zi1, we shall take it as Zi. And for stage one, let us take the output impedance as Z01. And stage two input impedance, let's take it as Zi2. And stage two output impedance, let's take it as Zo2. And stage three input impedance, obviously Zi3. And stage Three output impedance going to be ZO3, and there are no more stages uh, on the right hand side of uh, the third stage. So, ZO3, let's take it as the overall output impedance Z0. Okay, so that's about the voltages. Now, let us mark the sorry, the impedances. Now, let us mark the voltages. All right, so this is my for, uh, primary voltage VI. Okay, so output of first stage, um, we shall take it as V01, okay, so this V01 itself is given as the input to the second stage. So what we can do is we can take V01 as VI2, all right, V01 is the output of first stage, but the same output is given as input to the second stage. So on that note, we have taken V01 is equal to VI2. Okay, so your second unit receives input as VI2 and it gives an output of V02. And the same output V02 is given as input to the third stage. And your third stage gives an output of V03, which is equal to V0 because there are no more uh, stages. Okay on the right hand side of the third stage okay next let us define the overall gain overall gain so overall gain let's say avt where t stands for the total gain okay so the overall gain is always taken as the last output and the first input so that is last output is v0 divided by first input is vi okay so v0 by vi is equal to what we can do is um, we can take it in this way so there are three stages right so first let me write v not here okay divided by something don't worry and then i have my second stage product and then i will be having my third stage product okay so what i will do um, i'll take v not here Okay, and I'll take VI here. Okay, V not here and VI here. And let me just multiply and divide with the respective input voltages. Okay, so V not is the output of third stage, correct? And VI is the input of first stage. So what I will do in the first stage, okay. In the first stage, output is V01, which is also equal to VI2. So I'll just multiply VI2 and then I'll divide by VI2. Then in the second stage, output is V02. Okay. And output V02 is also equal to VI3. So what I will do, I'll multiply by VI3 and then I'll divide by VI3. So no harm done, right? VI3, VI3 gets cancelled out and VI2, VI2 gets cancelled out uh, and you will be left with only V0 by VI. Now, there is an intention behind this, okay. Now, by rearranging this, uh, you know, V0 by VI ratio, I'll be able to bring in um, the gain factors of the amplifier, right? The gain factors of the amplifier. Okay, that is, we know that, we know that, V01, okay, V01 is equal to VI2 and 
v naught two is equal to v i three. Okay, let's take this as equation one, and these two as you know equation two. So what you can do everywhere, wherever you uh, you have inputs, you can substitute with output. So substitute two in one. So you would get overall gain a v t is equal to v naught divided by v i three. What is v i three? Is v naught two? Into okay. just a minute. So this I will take v i three itself. Okay, that's because output to input. Okay, output to input. We can take it as v naught by v i three is equal to a v three. So this particular ratio. Is a v three, okay? Into let me go to the second one. I have v i three, okay? Where v i three is equal to v not two. So let me write it as v not two divided by v i two, where v i two is the input to the second stage. So let me keep it is keep it as v i two. Now I have this ratio: output voltage by input voltage, which is nothing but gain. But which gain? The gain of second stage, right? So a v two is nothing but output, that is v naught two, to the input, which is v i two. So this is a v two into I have v i two, right? So v i two is nothing but v naught one divided by v i. So what is this ratio? V not one divided by V I is the voltage gain of the first stage. So that is A V one. So by doing so, what I can do is I can represent the overall voltage gain A V T as A V one into A V two into A V three. So this is the expression for voltage gain of a multi-stage amplifier. So simply by Um, multiplying the individual voltage gains, uh, you will get the overall gain of the multi-stage amplifier. Okay, so if let's say n cascaded system is present, n stage. Okay, if uh, n stage cascaded system is present, then overall gain A V T going to be A V one into A V two into A V three into so and so forth until A V n. Okay, so current gain A I you can always find it something like I naught by I I. Okay, where I naught is um, minus V naught by R L. Okay, divided by I I is V I by Z I. So that is minus V naught by V I. Okay, into Um, Z I okay. We shall take Z I as the first stage okay. Z I one divided by R L okay. So that's nothing but Y I is equal to okay. This is V naught by V I, which is Y V total okay. That is the total voltage gain of uh, the multi-stage amplifier. So we can write it as minus Y V total into Z I one divided by Why Z I one? Because you don't have one stage; you have multiple stages. So all what you have to look into is the input impedance of the first stage. So that's your uh, current gain expression of multi-stage amplifiers. Sometimes, you know, in communication systems, uh, normally we express the gain in terms of decibels, right? So in terms of decibels, it is basically um, 20 log of a v t. Remember one thing: the base of logarithm is 10. Okay, so log to the base 10. 20 log a v t is equal to uh, 20 log of whatever. Okay, a v 1 into a v 2 into a v 3. All right, but in log you know that. Uh, you know the moment when you 
take a logarithm of product, you will going to get a sum. So basically, it is 20 log to the base 10, AV1, 20 log to the base 10, AV2, plus 20 log to the base 10, AV3. So which is equal to 20 log to the base 10 of AV1 plus AV2 plus AV3. Okay, so this is what uh, the gain is um, in terms of logarithmic scale. Okay, okay. And the last part is phase between V0 and Vn. Okay, phase between V0 and Vn. All right. So what we will do is we will mark first the loaded gain. Okay. So let us say AV1 is the loaded gain of a stage and AV2 is the loaded gain of second stage. Okay. And let us mark V01 is the output of first stage and VI1 is the input of first stage. And similarly, VI2 going to be the input of second stage and V0 will be the output of output across the load resistor R. Okay, this is your output current I0 and this is your source current IS. Okay, same thing will flow as here. Okay, fine. Now, loaded gain AV1 is equal to what? Loaded gain AV1 okay, is equal to output voltage of first stage divided by input voltage of second stage. So this is basically V01 divided by VI1. VI1. Okay. On the other hand, no load gain AVNL is equal to output voltage divided by the input voltage. Oh. So, output voltage in the sense. Okay, this is your EF emitter follower. Okay, and if at all there is no load, okay, that output voltage will be V0. Okay, and the input voltage going to be VI1 itself. Okay, so that's the difference between no load and full load. And the corresponding voltage gain, let's take it as AV NF. All right. Fine. So let's find out the first, uh, uh, you know, subdivision. That is, AV one. Okay. AV one. Now, in order to find AV one, you know, what you can do is you can apply the Thevenin's theorem, right? I have. We have considered, uh, you know, uh, the analysis of amplifier circuit on the basis of two port network. Okay. So. AV1, in order to find out, you know, what we can do is, um, okay. you can first find out output voltage um, V01. Okay, what is this output voltage V01? So output voltage V01 is equal to the voltage divider rule you can apply. 
the source voltage what is the source voltage av norm is the source voltage into resistance across which v not 1 is measured now this v not 1 where are we going to measure so this v not 1 is measured on the output side so the resistance going to be the output resistance right output resistance now the output resistance is basically the input resistance of the common base circuit let me show you how exactly it is so i can break this circuit in this way okay this is your zi and then you have av and l this is av and l into vi1 okay vi1 is here and this is your z0 okay now now let me mark from here to here it is emitter all over okay then you will have your rs and vs okay so this is your emitter all over now the output of this emitter follower is connected to the input of common base right so what happens is that here comes your second stage let me mark it with a different color so that you will be able to understand see if you understand this problem you know you can solve any problem in uh, two port network systems okay so this is a v n of second stage into v i2 okay so v i2 is equal to v not 1 so this is v i2 okay and this is z not of second stage and finally you will have your load resistor r okay so this i can say that it is the engineering diagram of um the above black box so this is your black box okay and this is what you get it if you you know look deep into the network so this is your um common base common base amplifier okay this is we know okay so we'll mark the respective uh, you know values so this is 1 kilo ohm okay and what is zi zi is 10 kilo ohm z not is 12 ohm and input of second stage is 26 ohms okay and z not is 5.1 kilo ohm and load resistance is 8.2 kilo ohm yeah fine so from stage 1 from emitter follower stage you can now clearly write um uh, what is v not 1 okay this itself is v not 1 okay so v not 1 is equal to okay source voltage av nl vi1 okay into resistance across which v not 1 is measured so what is that resistance across which v not 1 is measured can anyone tell me 
26 ohm divided by sum of the resistance so on the output side there are two resistances right 12 and 26 so it is 12 plus 26 that implies you take out the ratio v not 1 divided by vi1 okay and that is av1 and this av1 is equal to basically avnl into 26 divided by 12 plus 26 therefore loaded gain av1 is equal to okay avnl what is avnl avnl is 1 so here avnl is 1 okay the no load gain of stage 1 similarly no load gain of stage 2 is 240 that also i will write it here okay so for stage 2 no load gain is 240 okay so av1 is equal to avnl that is 1 into 26 divided by 12 plus 26 so that is 0 0.684 okay so this is called as load effect you see the moment the second stage is cascaded to the first stage um, the no load value you know drops from unity to just 0 0.684 this is called as the load effect all right so that's your uh, loaded gain of first stage okay similarly similarly um, you can find out av2 okay so to find loaded gain of second stage okay uh, what you have to do is uh, from common base circuit okay let's write the output voltage v naught output voltage v naught okay is equal to source voltage we are applying voltage divider rule again into resistance across which v naught is measured that's rl divided by sum of resistances okay or okay this is avnl into vi2 right yeah. vi2 into vi2 into this so avnl vi2 okay so what is avnl avnl is 240 into vi2 into rl so rl is 8.2 kilo ohm divided by 8.2 kilo plus um, z naught right z naught is uh, 5.1 kilo ohm. Okay. so what happens this kilo kilo gets cancelled off and you can cross multiply so you get v naught by vi2 so ratio v naught by vi2 okay v naught by vi2 here it is v naught by vi2 is nothing but av2 so that's av2 and av2 is equal to 240 into 8.2 divided by 8.2 plus 5.1 so how much you'll get you'll get about can anyone tell me how much you will get? Did anyone calculate? Okay, no, no issues, I will calculate. Okay, so that's the first part. So you have found the loaded gain of each stage in terms of AV1 and AV2, done. Okay. In part B, in part B, what you have to do is you have to calculate two, two things. Okay, overall gain. AV okay and then overall gain AVS so overall gain AV okay you know that from the you know uh, prelim study of uh, multi-stage amplifier the overall gain is nothing but product of individual gains right so AV is equal to AV1 into AV2 so what is AV1 AV1 is 0 0.684 into av2 is 147 
um, 0.97. Okay, so when you multiply, you will get 1 naught 1.20. Okay, if at all, if you were to just multiply the no load gains, okay, the answer would have been um, 1 into 240. Apparently, you know, it appeared as though the overall gain is 1 into 240 is equal to 240. But due to the loading effect, you see, the total gain is not 240, it is just 100. So there is a huge reduction in uh, gain. Okay, so that's your overall gain. Okay. okay. Next, we will consider overall gain with source. Okay. AVS. And what is AVS? Overall gain with source effect. RS. Okay. Now, let us first define AVS. So, AVS is nothing but ultimate output voltage to the source voltage. So, what we can do is, you know, V0 by Vs, okay, um, we can write it something like V0 by Vi into Vi by Vs. Okay, now this V naught by V i, okay, V naught by V i is nothing but this ratio, V naught, okay, and V i. This is V i. Okay, so V naught by V i is nothing but A V. Okay, so this ratio is basically A V. Okay, so therefore. AVS is equal to AV into VI by VS. Okay. Now, what is this VI by VS ratio? So, VI by VS ratio, okay, VI by VS can be found from the input circuit. Okay, input circuit. So, let's go to the input circuit and let us try to write an expression for you know vi what is vi again you can apply voltage divider rule on the input side as well okay so this is your rs so vi is nothing but source voltage into resistance zi divided by rs plus zi so vi is equal to source voltage vs into resistance across which vi is measured that is zi divided by sum of the resistances okay or you can take out the ratio vi by vs okay vi by vs is equal to the impedance ratio zi divided by zi plus rs okay now what is zi our first stage is 10 kilo divided by 10 kilo plus rs so series resistance of source is one kilo so basically it is 10 by 11 right so 10 by 11 so therefore therefore your overall gain with source effect is av so av in the previous step we found as 1 or 1.2 into 10 divided by 11 okay so that will give you uh, a value of um, roughly 92 92 Okay, so that's your overall gain. Okay, so that's about part B. Okay. So this is done, B is done. Okay, we have found EAV as well as EAVS. Okay, now let's uh, look at the current gain. Okay. Current gain. All right, C let us write current gain. Okay, since they haven't mentioned what type of current gain, we will write total current gain AI. So, total current gain AI is equal to again, I have 
already given the formula it is the voltage gain that is av total into input impedance of first stage divided by rl where rl is equal to load resistance okay so ai total is equal to minus okay av total so what is av total av total we have already found right that is 101.20 This itself is EV total, not 1.20 into um, ZI. ZI is uh, uh, 5 kilo. How much is it? ZI 10 kilo divided by RL 8.2 kilo. Okay, that's 123. So it is minus 123.41. Okay. Do not worry about the sign. Okay. Even in an exam, you know, if at all you have any confusion whether to take negative sign or positive sign, you can always write modulus. Okay. AI total mod is equal to 123.41. Doesn't matter. Okay. So that's your third part. Okay. Finally, the fourth part. So in the fourth part, you have been asked to, uh, you know, determine the voltage gain, okay, as well as the overall voltage gain uh, if emitter follower uh, circuit is removed, okay. Now, if emitter follower circuit is removed, then you will be left with source voltage Vs along with its resistance Rs, okay, connected to the common base circuit. So basically you will have a single stage. And this is your load resistor RL, which is 8.2 kilo ohm, across which you will measure V0. This is your VI. Okay. And this is your common base. So you know that AVNL is 240, ZI is 26. Z0 is 5.1 kilo and AVNL, okay, 240, we have already mentioned, right? Fine. Now let us find out uh, the loaded gain AV. Okay, so loaded gain AV, okay, by definition, is the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage. Okay, so this can be found using the voltage divider rule. So what we can do is um, V0 okay is nothing but uh, the source voltage AVNL times VI into resistance across which V0, V0 is measured that is RL divided by sum of the resistances that is phi, um, okay, let me write the formula first Z0 plus RL that is um, AVNL 240 into VI, which is unknown, RL 8.2K divided by 8.2K plus Z0 5.1K. Okay, or uh, you take out the ratio V0 by VI, and we have already defined the ratio V0 by VI, which is our overall gain AV. So AV is nothing but 240 into 8.2 divided by 8.2 plus 5.1. Okay, so this K I will strike it off because it is going to get cancelled out. Um, so how much will you get? One forty-seven point nine seven. Okay, so that's your overall gain. Okay. Now, if you consider the source effect, 
okay avs okay so avs is nothing but output voltage to the source voltage okay, which can be formed with a simple formula you can write v not by vs and just multiply and divide vi so that v not by vi you can directly get it from the previous step okay that is 147.97 and this ratio vi by vs okay, um, you can get it from the input circuit so vi by vs is basically um, zi divided by zi plus rs okay. So ZI is 26 divided by 26 plus RS. So source resistance is one kilo ohm. Okay. So that ratio you will get it as 26 divided by thousand plus 26. It's about 0 0.025. 0 0.0253. Okay. So therefore, the overall gain is 147.97 into VI by VS, which is 0 0.0253, okay? So AVS, you will get it as, how much you'll get? Can anyone tell me? Did you get this? Did you get this? AVS is 3.75. Okay, fine. We use some formula and we get some value. Okay. Now, if at all, I if I if if I were to compare the AVS value, okay. So AVS value using two-stage amplifier. How much did we get? AVS using two-stage amplifier. Can you tell me quickly? About 92. Right. About 92 you got. Now AVS with a single stage amplifier, how much did we get? 3.7. The question is why? Why, you know, you will find such a huge difference in overall voltage gain considering the source effect. What, what has caused uh, this dip in voltage gain? Can anyone tell me? Source impedance is in the range of kilo ohm, and the load impedance of okay, load impedance, which is nothing but zi of first stage, okay, which is in just ohms. Okay, what's the value? Um, the value is just 26 ohms. Okay, since there is clear-cut impedance mismatch between source resistance and you know the load resistance okay there is a huge dip in gain okay on the other hand if at all you go for two stage amplifier two stage amplifier what happens is that the source resistance okay is again it's one and the same why because it is one kilo ohm. okay the source resistance is one kilo ohm on the other hand the load impedance load impedance okay which is nothing but zi of emitter follower let me write ef okay which is in the order of 10 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm okay since both the impedances you know they lie in the range of kilo ohm okay so the overall gain is quite high so, okay so that is because here you have uh, i won't say good impedance uh, matching i would say you know fair impedance matching there is fair impedance matching okay on the other hand if at all you go for a single stage you look at the difference it is one kilo ohm and it is just 26 ohm there is a very bad uh, impedance matching okay 
So that's the reason, you know, there will be a dipping gain. 